Hey what's up fellas, it's your boy DJ Roxy coming to you with another tutorial video. In today's tutorial video we have the Rain TTM57 Mac 2 2 channel mixer. The current problem with this mixer right now is the two USB connectors that need to be replaced. Now I'm gonna take you step to step on how to replace these two connectors. First thing you wanna start off with removing all these knobs from the mixer. Next, what you want to do is remove all these nuts. Alright, so after you remove all the nuts, you're going to see some screws on the face plate that needs to be removed. Once you remove the screws, you can lift your panels off the mixer. So after you remove these two panels, you're going to find some screws on the bottom panel that needs to be removed. Alright, once you remove all these screws from this panel, uh, the panel is free to come off. Bear in mind, these two screws right here that don't need to be removed. Then what you want to do is lift the panel up and remove these connectors from the motherboard so you'll be left with this panel with your faders you can put this on the side in a safe place all right next what you want to do is remove this ribbon and pry to open the mixer so if you have some extra hand It's even better. Be careful, there are some washers right on top of these buttons. If you want, you can remove them or you can just leave them on. Our very next step is to remove all these ribbons from the USB assembly. There are two screws in the back that holds the USB assembly. You want to carefully remove these screws. So you left with your USB assembly. Now there's two ways of fixing this problem. One would be replacing the whole assembly, uh, the whole motherboard assembly. Two, you can buy your USB connectors and replacing your connectors on the motherboard. Now this will require some serious soldering techniques. Um, for fixing this problem if you want to change it on your own um, it's up to you guys this would be the cheapest way out if you just change uh, your USB connectors by the way any parts that you need you can head over to instrumentalparts.com and you can find this whole assembly or if you just want to change your USB connectors they also carry the USB connectors so like I said, I'm going to leave a link to the parts and you can go ahead and um, into instrumentalparts.com and order your parts from there. Alright guys, so if you want to go ahead and um, uh, change your USB connectors, you want to desolder these connections right here. One, two, and you have one, two, three, four for this whole assembly to come out so you can go ahead and desolder these alright guys so once you solder your two USB connectors this is what your board supposed to look like now it's time to assemble your USB board back into the mixer you want to line it up and then screw the two screws that hold the board. Make sure that your two LEDs are centered into the holes. Our next step would be putting back all the ribbons back into the motherboard. Make sure that your ribbons are in nice and formed 
Our next step is to connect this. Make sure that you connect this into your USB motherboard. Then you want to connect this ribbon. Our next step is to connect this face plate that holds your faders. So deck one, deck two, and your cross fader. When you put it in this position, you cannot go wrong. Deck two, it will be marked. Deck one would be on your left and cross fader would be in the center. All right, our next step is to put back all the screws. Bear in mind when you're screwing this in, um, you gotta see which screw correspond with the face plate. All right guys, so once you put everything together, your next step is to test it out, making sure that these uh, USB ports both are working um, and you should be good to go. So I hope this tutorial was a help to anybody out there. Um, you know what to do, thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more and more videos. And um, until next time guys, it's your boy DJ Roxy.